your heart. And now we come to a different vibe that brings you to somewhere <laughs> in England. Oh. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Shades of lipstick, one that belongs to her. Oh, sorry. Maybe I give you a little background of this so we, call, uh, we all can understand. Do you know the show Mad Men? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it's a very um, popular uh, TV show about advertising back in the 90s. Um, so the main guy in this video is Don Draper. He's the creative director of an advertising firm in Manhattan. And um, he's in a self meeting with a client, and the client is a, a lipstick company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please pay attention to uh, <laughs> the conversation and what's happening here. From a basket of kisses, she picks one. It makes her unique. It colors her kiss, and her kiss, well, it colors her man. Belle Jolie lipstick. Mark your man. I only see one lipstick in your drawing. <coughs> Women want colors. Lots and lots of colors. Mark your man. It's pretty cute. Oh, you like this? Well, maybe we should cut down to five shades or one. I'm not telling you to listen to anyone, but this is a very fresh approach. It's okay, Kelly. Okay. I don't think there's much else to do here, but call in day. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Is that all? You're a non-believer. 
Why should we waste time on Kabuki? I don't know what that means. It means that you've already tried your plan and you're number four. You've enlisted my expertise and you've rejected it to go on the way you've been going. I'm not interested in that. You can understand. I don't think your three months or however many thousands of dollars entitles you to refocus the core of our business. Listen, I'm not here to tell you about Jesus. You already know about Jesus. Either he lives in your heart or he doesn't. Every woman wants choices. But in the end, none wants to be one of a hundred in a box. She's unique. She makes the choices and she's chosen him. She wants to tell the world he's mine. He belongs to me, not you. She marks her man with her lips. He is her possession. You've given every girl that wears your lipstick the gift of total ownership. Sit down. No. You can win a Mercedes AMG G63. That's right. The Influencer's Influencer. The G Wagon. It's. Okay. <laughs> so that's Don Trevor. And it's great, like one of the most popular pitch ever in the show. And uh, don't we all want to be like that? Right? And um, I'm not a creative myself, but. From my own experience, watching so many TV shows about advertising, working with all sorts of like creative people, these are the four <coughs> things that I learned for myself, how it, they can help me, uh, and hopefully can help you too, to be more confident in walking into that pitch and really nail it, yeah? And uh, number one is, Know your content is very straightforward. But what does knowing your content mean? It, it's not like you read from a slide or you read your note. That's not, that might be a starting point, but never a good way if you're in a very tough competition and you want to uh, impress your client. You know it, you learn it by heart, you understand it, and you deliver it in your own way, not reading it. Show your passion, like I'm trying to do uh, most of the time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but show it, show your passion uh, in your own way too. You don't have to be like me, you don't have to be like Juan, you don't have to be like Kara or Kung. You have your own way of showing it, showing your emotion, but you show it. Uh, like everyone, um, I think, already uh, discussed, like um, emotion is what really connects people, attract people to you. Um, and showing your passion is a way of showing emotion too. <coughs> Be attentive, what does it mean? You're not there just to share, show the slide. You're not there just to um, read to the client, to present to the client what you already prepared. Be attentive, listen to what they have to say after you present your idea as well not only to answer their question yourself, but you can also help your team when they receive question. You know, we all have different opinions, different perspective when it comes down to creativity. What does it mean? It's pretty subjective, I have to admit. We all have different experience, that's how we see things differently, and that's fine. But when a client like give us a question, I give my answer, and if you are there with me, you be attentive, you be like, oh, maybe they's not happy with that answer yet. I can step in and help my teammate as well. That's what it means, yeah? And parented, why I use the word parent? We talk a lot about mom and dad and how they very protective of us. They don't really like, um, different ways to show it, but being a parent means like you own it and you want to protect your idea, you want to um, to fight for it. And to me, uh, a pitch, that's what, what it's all about. You don't just, oh, this is my idea, you can buy it or you cannot, but you know, up to you. No, you have to really fight for it and make the client see where you come from. 
why are you presenting this idea and if they're not happy okay you can share with me what your input is and I can improve it I find ways my ways might not be the best ways but there's a way you know and we can all work on it and parents it also mean you 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 when you um, sorry especially for the creatives when you think of an idea, you work on a project for so long, it's feel to me from as an outsider, you feel I feel like you give birth to it, right? You give birth to your idea, to your work, and then you raise it and you see it grows, you see it become like a great thing and and, and just <coughs> think of how your ideas even now it's just a sign point. But later on when you see it come to life what does your idea mean to other people, to so many people? And with that four things, if you try to apply, no more DZ, no more chaos, and you know, we can win a pitch. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Nick. Q and A section, everyone. Take this time to ask lots of questions. Ask her some challenging questions, everyone. She's very excellent in her expertise. <coughs> no, Kara? Okay. I will ask my question. Oh, yes. okay. Can I? Can I? Yeah, sure. sure. Have you used this uh, this technique and somewhere where it didn't work? Or has it worked always? Uh, uh, not all four of them and not all the time depends on the audience and depends on the project that we work on. Like sometimes some client, you know, their way or no way. So we can't really like take ownership to not being defensive. So yeah. we got to be flexible with that. I like the, the way you explain that like, uh, don't be defensive because mm -hmm. sometimes that happens because especially when you start parenting it, yeah. like it is mine, how can you challenge it? Yeah. And then it is more like an ego game between us and a client. Mm. And of course, you know who wins, mm. right? Not so, us. so it is. It is a very thin line mm. where you have to be very strong in your point of view, your idea, mm. and at the same time, to acknowledge what the other person is trying to say. Mm. Uh, really like, really like, like it. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. Do you receive feedback? Oh. Okay, everyone, please give uh, the keyword of the good point that she did. I just wish that she could be more confident in herself. I know that Sunny somehow has the same uh, character, uh, mystic as mine, yeah? that when we attract attention, we feel very uncomfortable. But actually, she has ordered the whole package to be proud of and to, to shy in front of everyone and not be be, be, be shy or scared of anything. So I just wish that, um, or I, I, I hope that you could be more confident in yourself and be exactly like you are. You don't have to be scared. Yeah, you take her wish. Take her wish. <laughs> Any other comments? <laughs> Thank you. That, this time, that worked, right? <laughs> okay, and how can she improve next time? Better preparation. <laughs> yeah. okay. You may have from, to put into that. From from my point of view, as an usher today, usher. Uh, as an usher and as an assistant to help me with the preparation, and I wish that everyone could like just send me a little bit more, um, so that I could just to check everything and make sure that I follow your your flow, so that I could be more prepared for your presentation. And one little thing is when you are showing this, don't hide behind the TV because it's really hard to see you. So you are the, the master of the stage. So just stand right here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, another input that I would like to add, and I would like to add to everyone as well from this point onward is that if you feel that you need your audience to listen to you and attend to your presentation fully, then you can ask them to rearrange your seat because you're in the control. Yeah. So you could ask them, to come here and sit so that you, they could have a better observation of your performance. Because mm -hmm. you're standing there, you're the, you're the, the leader of the project. And so yeah, you, could, you should show more of your authority to them so that 
they can have better observational view and you could actually have a better performance too. In her mind, she the best for her is she asks everyone to turn their back to her, you know? That's so much as <laughs> I understand that was too much attention. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Rakesh, yes, same thing. Hi, Mr. Rakesh. Hi, Mr. Rakesh. Sunny, uh, I think uh, I have learned a lot from your presentation. So today I am not only from your presentation, I, I am, for me it has been a really enriching day for me. I feel that I have, I have really used my weekend well. Because uh, the way you have shown us, because if I look at your presentation, your speech, the purpose was more on inspiring this team which is all about pitching. You are talking about a pitching which is a topic and, and then you very clearly started with that one slide where it was everything jumbled, busy, and then you explained how to make it much smooth. And uh, the, the one thing which I really liked about your presentation is just one or two, three words, maximum three words. There is a, um, a, a if you just go into, you know, this, the higher level of presenting, it is always said that use three words, not more than that. Three by three is normally taken uh, as, as a golden rule, where you have just three points using three words. But you did one level up, which is like just having three words. So which just says that you are using your audio visual for as an aid rather than this actually telling everything about your pitch which is normally what we do. We have all our points on the slide and client is just reading, not actually listening to you. So with that three words, you were actually catching our attention. We were all listening to you. So that's, that's amazing. Um, and uh, it was not just the slide, the way you presented your slide, the way you had added that, that uh, video, it was more like add, helping to understand better how to pitch. So I think sometimes we just, sometimes we make, uh, we add videos just for the sake of adding video. Let's not do that. Always remember to add it if it is making, if it is enhancing the story what you are trying to say. So very well done. Uh, in terms of, uh, I love that, uh, you know, four, four things, four points which you shared. I think I'm going to use it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but uh, in terms of uh, making it even, uh, you know, good, good to best, mm -hmm. best, yeah, you're already good. Uh, how can we make it to the best? I think uh, you have all that skill of, of pitching, content, everything. I would, I would ask you because you are a senior leader, right? I would ask you to be more energetic, be more, get yourself more control of, you know, audience. If you want anyone to talk, just have the presence. Don't fear, I think uh, Karen already said that be confident, be more, uh, um, you know, commanding uh, because that you have everything. It's just about showing and bringing it up. Yeah, thank you. receiving the language the, the, the language of love. The language of love. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so next I invite on stage Miss Hing.
when you create the new idea? Uh, I start with the uh, research and um, try to find some uh, high potential inside then I develop the idea after around the, 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 the core inside mm -hmm. and, and, and just fine. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And um, from account department, one do you do you have you can create the new idea? <laughs> <laughs> just yes, uh, no? No. Okay. Um, after um, the research, um, many people many people think that they cannot uh, create the right idea um, because they are not creative or they are not genius. But um, the good news is everyone can create a new idea. And interesting is. Um, we are uh, the many right, the uh, many right ideas um, can can come when you will do simple things. And let's look at five five simple simple ways to have uh, to create new idea. The number one, uh, one is to have the problem. Um, the the idea a solution to every every day problem. For example, uh, you know Taylor Swift. Yes, she is a singer, and after after she broke up with her boyfriend, she always had a hit song with million viewers. Yes, this is the number one. Uh, number two, listen and brainstorm together. Um, in the research of the inspiration code, uh, we realized that. We inspire from when uh, we inspire from other when we are with others. Uh, I share the something you hear, you hear me, and you hear you. You said something, I hear you, and um, um, the better we the better we listen, um, the better we listen. We uh, the more we clean and first more. First, uh, in reason to uh, more opportunity to expand our domestic. And number three is look around. Uh, just the same more. Um, for example, Isaac Newton. Uh, he he's uh, he's rich in the in the garden, and certainly the apple fall from uh, fell from the tree and hit his head and after that he found the um, he found the law of the universal uh, reputation um, <laughs> and all all as all as um Warren Buffett uh, he said uh, he said that uh, he always believed my eyes if uh, rather than uh, rather than anything else. So uh, instead, uh, instead of um, you just sitting in front of the computer and um, and um, uh, repeat the action, the repeat an action over and over is not your good practice. Instead of uh, you can decide that you can go around, go outside and look around the something and maybe the idea come around to you yeah and um, the, the number four is uh, the important thing is write down your idea because if you if you don't write down the idea um, the idea fly away <laughs> and, uh, um, the last thing I want to say, um, this is a tech a shower. Tech a shower. Yes, that's the funny. But uh, do you ever heard the shower talk? 
I said uh, we all have a different style and you have again the presence of the stage when it is all about you know the way you have the, your smile your uh, positive uh, I, I felt positive energy when you were uh, discussing about the points uh, uh, and again you use those style of engaging with the audience where you asked uh, Kong to, yes, to, 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 to talk about how he gets the new ideas about the videos and and you already got some some points from him so which is like one of the technique to to uh, engage with your audience so you already applied that and then uh, in any speech you always engage get some get some points and then give your point mm -hmm. so it's like you are substantiating it which you did very well because you explained five points to be more creative coming up with ideas so you have those five points 
and you not only just said that like for example your first one was listen and brainstorm together so you explained how to do it mm -hmm. because as an audience we want to know the solution not just the topic we can read it right so that 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 is something which you did well and uh, you know the last one you did not say final message and somebody else said <laughs> anyone can be creative right <laughs> that's the power of your speech that's the power of your yeah. your presentation because at the end of the day what do you want the audience to take take back home is that one message and if your audience is already knowing what the message is you have done your job yeah so that was great uh, and also i like the way you answered the question somebody challenged you is that the only way man to more get more creative when i am under the shower and you were like i i i think you you were thinking and and, and you were listening because something sometimes we don't listen that's the problem with us all of us we want to jump into the answer because I, we already have the answer ready but i saw you waiting listening thinking and then responding so you know react and respond so you did the the respond thing very well because you said that whatever is your passion look when you are in, in engaged in that passion the idea will come so very well explained so good one mm -hmm. thank you and i think uh, team has already shared what what you can do much better like your uh, don't i think uh, avoid you taking anything in when you are presenting mm -hmm. maybe just a pointer if you need it because you don't want to go into your laptop and keep this but try avoiding uh, anything having in your hand mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise i, I really like your 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 different way of presenting thank you